Hey everybody, Justin here. Welcome you to TacosAndGeeks.com and today we're going to be reviewing the anime Somali in the Forest Spirit Episode 1. This is available to watch on the Crunchyroll app and as always I give you a brief synopsis so here we go. The world is ruled by a diversity of inhuman beings who persecuted humans and drove them to near extinction. One day the forest guardian Gollum meets a human girl. This is a chronicle of a journey that will bind a member of the dying human clan to the forest guardian Gollum as father and daughter. And I have to say so far out of all the generic offerings that we have been getting in anime for the past two years. This one is definitely a breath of fresh air. I love this first episode. I love the visuals. I love the art style. And what makes Somalia, not Somalia, excuse me, Somali, wow. Somali in a forest spirit so well done is that it has an actual human story. This anime has heart to it. I mean, just when you first eat, when the first introduction of Som the character Somali, She's dirty, she's chained up, she's crying, she seems to be the last of her race and Gollum encounters her and she just immediately says dad and just automatically makes him like, hey, you're going to take care of me. And I love that dynamic. The, the, what works very well is this father-daughter dynamic. And Gollum is a type of character that really can't understand emotions very well. He himself is learning not only how to be a parent, but how to be more emotional, how to be able to feel. And I love that dynamic here. You have two characters who are gonna help each other out with these things. You have Somali who needs to be taken care of, who has to learn the world. And you have Gollum who really doesn't understand what it's like to feel, like to have type of emotion. So he's put in a situation where he has no choice but to learn those type of qualities. And I think episode one do, uh, does a very good job of building the world. Here we have a world of monsters and different creatures who look great, by the way. Just top-notch visuals for these uh, the character designs. I absolutely love them. And the way they use some of the backgrounds that just have it look like such like it's a painting. And I, I think that worked very, very well for the world. It's very bright and colorful, even with the situation being dark for at least the humans. And you have these, and the way they explain the humans leaving or the, leave, the humans being extinct is not from the perspective of the humans. That's what I, I'm, I'm thinking is that with the creatures, because the, the way they were explaining it of why humans were extinct is that, oh, the humans, we, 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 left, we lived in different you know, different lands and we didn't know about each other existing until one human stumbled upon us and we invited them with open arms and the humans, they were belittling us and things like that. But how do we know that's true if it's just from their perspective? That's one thing I, I'm, I'm really curious to see if they're going to explore more of why the humans disappear. If you read the manga, do not spoil it in the comment section. Um, I will definitely, because I haven't read the manga yet, so i definitely curious to see how they're going to explore that type of aspect and one thing i really do like again like i said is that relationship father daughter dynamic between Gollum and somali and i really do enjoy that i also like how Gollum is so protective and there is key things in here of him trying to understand just the nature of it like when somali runs away or she you know wanders off and he has to figure out ways to like okay i can't let a child keep wandering off because something might happen to her if someone discovers that she's a human i have to figure out a way how to keep this kid still it's situations like that that i think is going to be really great for the character and i'm really enjoying this so far so overall i have to say the voice acting is great absolutely love the performances by the two leads the music production is stellar as well great use of classical music a nice use of violins and the strings work very well to capture the tone especially during those emotional beats you really are going to hear the music and really strike a chord in a nerve with you i think the music did a great fantastic job of the production animation is great absolutely love the character designs i love the background use i thought it was pretty cool the creature designs are pretty cool some of these creatures i, would, I wouldn't mind just hanging in the world and be like you know what let's go get a beer let's get a drink um i would definitely have to say i highly recommend this so if i'm gonna give it a final score of course we rate this by watch it skip it or put it in your queue this is a must watch definitely watch it for those who like stars four stars a minus 
I will definitely say this is a must watch. This is a great one, a great standout for winter 2020 with all those generic ones that's out there with the high school students constantly being the protagonists. I absolutely love this one. Definitely check this out. This is Justin from Otakosageeks.com. If you like what we do here, if you like the review, like, share, and subscribe. Did you like episode one? What did you didn't like about episode one if you um, didn't enjoy it? Um, also, most importantly, please visit OtakosageEeks.com. That will help us very, um, very much. Later days.